And we are here. Ready and waiting for the NJD and Washington game, I believe it is. So welcome yes. to all of those joining on stream. I'm here joined by Goose. Yo, yo, yo. Who is unfortunately having some internet issues. Uh, trying to work through those, but we'll see what happens. Looks like your starting lineup for New Jersey tonight is uh, P.K. Pajing on defense. Uh, actually, probably offense with this group. Uh, Dragon Blade, most likely in net or defense. Iskin on offense, and then Canada is filling in whichever Dragon Blade does not do. And I would expect to see T Lords, Ace Bulf, uh, Chaos Auto, and Tim Barrett for Washington. However, it does seem that Auto is missing, which is probably why they're winding down this clock. So what are your predictions for this game? Goose, goose, goose. Channel timed out. Buddy joined your channel. Hello. Welcome. Probably like a whopping one or two. Um, hello everybody, this is uh, your commissioner. <laughs> so... I was trying to ask Goose before uh, we lost connection with him the, whether or not uh, he thinks New Jersey is going to be able to pull out a win here against against Washington. Washington does seem to be without Otto. I think if Otto is not here and uh, and sweaty goals and Tim do not perform the way they have been, NJD can easily take this game. You have to wonder, though. I mean, Otto is missing for for Washington, but notice that Dopey G is also not present for New Jersey. I think Iskin enough can uh, lead the squad against uh, wa this Washington team. Well, you'd certainly hope so for their sake, anyway. And it looks like Sweaty Goals is filling in for for Chaos Otto here, starting on Washington tonight. This one's going to be a good one. Would certainly hope so. I mean, this New Jersey team is looking for a bit of an upswing after dropping uh, five games, I believe it was, in a row. I think it was five yeah. games before uh, finally winning winning their their tenth game, putting them at uh, at five hundred, five and five. And right now, they have the tiebreaker over Colorado for the fourth seed. So if we were to end today uh, and go to the playoffs, they would be the number four seed. So if they lose, however, and Washington is able, or and uh, Colorado is able to beat Detroit tonight, oh, Tim with an early goal. Well, looks like this might be more of the same from what we see from Washington when uh, when Otto is not here. Certainly, a lot of the offensive scoring has been falling on Tim's shoulders this season. Yes, he's easily does that maneuver from uh, D to offense really easy. Nice transition with the Deeks. It's a strategy that's uh, it's worked for a while now, but you got to think uh, before too long, people are going to start learning how to play against it, especially since you watch it and, you know, it's it's the same move every time, as, as Goose was pointing out last week on stream. The uh, Every time he tries to fake you to the right and brings it right around to the left every single time. Teams need to be watching the tapes over that one. Certainly something that with a little bit of practice you would figure is easy enough to stop in theory, but you know, then again, not everything translates perfectly to the ranks. So. Yeah, that uh, inside move 
from experience is like hard to turn when you're playing D to your right. It's much easier to turn left because your stick is already like facing that way. Yep, yep, I understand that. It's not a bad move, but very repetitive. Very repetitive and certainly one that you'd think would be predictable. And here we are, here's Otto. Three minutes left in the first period and he's shown up. I'm assuming they'll up. Oh, looks like they're going to bring him in in the second. I'm assuming they'll bring him in for Sweaty would be my, uh, would be my guess anyway. Yep. But I'm sure he's happy to see that they built a lead without him. Let's see if New Jersey can start something here. Oh, and they run into each other. Do you think he'll take us up on that? I highly doubt it. Well, we can always dream, can't we? Yep. New Jersey getting it into the zone, but not doing much with it tonight. And it looks like PK is back on defense now. I, I believe Dragon Blade started out on defense. Ace My... wolf past the Tim. Tim shoots. It sends it wide. Looks like Sweaty Goals will pick it up. Or he'll turn away from it. If Tim had a much better shot, he would put up even more goals than he's doing right now. Well, that's the thing. Most of Tim's goals, like, I want to say at least 50%, at least have come from that, just that inside move that he keeps doing. Oh, and Sweaty picks up a loose puck and puts it in the back of the net. Good job by Sweaty Goals there, capitalizing on some poor defense by New Jersey. Sweaty has some nice positioning. Washington certainly taking advantage of New Jersey not having their starters. Oh, here comes, is that Tim? I believe that was Tim, yeah. Looks like Ace Buff fell back on defense for this. I'm wondering if Ace Buff is going to stay on defense. Oh, no, it looks like Tim's coming back out again. They're doing a really good job at keeping the pressure on New Jersey, though. New Jersey really hasn't had a single offensive opportunity here all night. Oh, and here comes with a shot. Oh, just wide. Mm, Kennedy probably should have come up out on that a lot sooner. He seemed to hesitate there. Lucky that that shot ended up going wide. And this period's looking like it's going to run down. 2-0 lead for Washington. I expect much of the same from New Jersey. Not getting anything done tonight. Certainly looks like New Jersey's uh, in a bit of a hole here. I mean, I know it's only a two-goal lead, but you have to feel like all the momentum is with Washington right now. New Jersey definitely needs a goal this period to at least get back in this thing, because I don't see them score. Oh, Ace Bolf with a defensive breakdown from New Jersey. Man, New Jersey's just not looking good tonight. If they lose like and Colorado beats Detroit tonight, Colorado and Detroit are in the playoffs, and uh, or if the season were to end today, Colorado and Detroit would be in the playoffs, and New Jersey would not be. It's going to be a tight playoff race for all three of those teams. Certainly seems to be shaping up that way. Uh, it seems like Boston, I think, uh, is, is really... They're struggling. I mean, they have Hef back and everything, and then they, they played a solid game today, dropping one nothing to Chicago. But nonetheless, that still puts them in a hole at 2-9. And, and 
I believe that's f at least four wins out of... Uh, oh, nice play by Tim. Just lifting it up and over the sticks. Yeah, Boston certainly got some work to do, and at this rate, Chicago and Washington keep pulling farther and farther away. It's looking like after tonight, both teams will be 8-3. and three. Yeah, they're, they certainly are pulling away from everybody. Oh, Niskin oh to make nice solo uh, solo effort there by Iskin. They're going to need more of that at this point. I know Iskin's one of the best players in North America, but I, I don't know. I don't know if he can single-handedly pull this team back from a three-goal deficit like this. We still got yeah. a lot of hockey left to play, though, so... Who is, um, uh, that... Oh, oh, and Andy T, 300. That's, that's who, uh, Andy? it's Pussy Denter. Andy T, 300. Coming in, substituting, and within roughly 40 seconds, I think it was, scores a goal. They're back in this thing. Just can't let any up at this point. Oh, oh, oh shot by Otto goes off both crossbar, or both uh, posts, and then back out again. And here they come, and a shot. Oh, what a goal! And PK from Dave, and just like that, they go from being down 4 nothing to scoring three straight unanswered goals. Wow. In a matter of a, a minute or so, I want to say. Yeah. In total, was... minute, minute and a half, maybe. That was unreal. Oh, and a shot. Goes wide. Washington's really got to tighten up here. They're gonna risk. They're gonna risk losing this. Otto and Acepov getting caught up and eventually costing them possession. But it looks like Tim's picked it up. But a good play there by Andy T to break it up. And oh. now here's Iskin again. Iskin. With a, an attempt. Let's see what he does with it. Looks like he's gonna pass it like to Andy. Pass. Oh. Oh. T Lors blocks it off though. Aceball sends it up to Tim, but also runs into him. Right. And there's a giant pile up. Tim skates right around PK. Oh, oh but well nice. done by Canadave. That's how you need to stop that. Notice that Canadave went for uh, Tim's left side. So when Tim tried to go around to the left, he had nowhere to go. Stick and body in the right position. That's a good play right there. Blue can watch them controlling it. Just gonna send it in for Canada. If Canada passes it, but it's gonna be a dump. Oh. Oh, oh here's an opportunity. Right oh, but Taylor stops it. And now we see Otto coming. Let's see how good his backhand is. And he sends it right up and over his stick, wow, giving them the cool. five three lead. Red needs to communicate a little bit better right there. Washington's doing what they can now to keep this momentum swung back. Loose puck, though. Looks like Andy T's got it, but he and Iskin are both way too close to each other. But that brings out the end That's of the second. Two-goal game. We've seen New Jersey score three in a row, so we saw five or five goals, yeah, or no, more than that, six goals. We saw six goals this period. Three goals by each team. Oh. 
Oh. Good passing. Oh, and they both whiff on it. Washington. And Andy runs right into Iskin. Oh, but does a decent job. Oh, it didn't quite break it up all the way, though. Otto still got the chance. He sends it wide on the backhand. Where Leafs whiffs on it. That backhander goal by Otto might just have been what this uh, Washington team needed to hold off, maintain this lead, and get the W. Yeah. Oh, what a save by Toulouse. Nice attempt there by PK, but doesn't lift it up off the ice enough for it to be really a threat. All three New Jersey players bunched up in front of the net. Good breakup. And try and send it up to Otto. Goes just past him, though. Ah, oh. oh, here's an opportunity for Iskin, but Leafs is going to get there first. Dave tries to send it up to Iskin, but goes right off. I, I want to say that was Go Leafs Go again, who sends it right back in. Oh, we'll pass there. They're going to have an opportunity. And Ooh, good defense. Up. Good defense by Eskin to stop that shot. They need to hurry up and send it up. And the pass is broken. Eskin sends a, a weaker pass through. It looks like it's broken up by Otto. In front of the net, but Red can't put it away. And Red cannot keep it in. Blues PK whiffs on it. Two on one. And, and Otto goal. takes advantage of it. That's, That's what happens. Seal the deal. Got to get good positioning when you got players like Otto on the ice, especially as a defenseman. Or you wind up letting up things just like we saw right there. Still a bit too early to call it, but I'm going to say this one is pretty much Washington's to throw away at this point. Let's they let him get another one. Yeah, well, we'll see. It looks like they're keeping the pressure on, that's for sure. Oh, Tim with a nice breakup. He's going to have a shot. Oh, oh nice up. job. Nice job breaking that up by Dave. Remember that save if New Jersey comes back. They scored three goals in roughly a minute 30 before. They can certainly do it again. This team has the offensive capability. We'll see some of these players on uh, Friday Night Hockey tomorrow. The Olympic game. USA vs. Canada. Bragging rights for North America. Oh, Otto with the steal and the and goal. And he puts it away. Oh, The hat trick with a minute left in the third period. Another nice move. Oh, and Otto sends it off the post. They're going to have a chance. Iskin. Sends it wide. Probably should have shot that a little bit earlier. Good defense to prevent this game from ending in a five-goal deficit, but... I think it's safe to say now that uh, Washington's uh, Washington's got this. Oh, Iskin with a late third period goal. Well, they are still down by three. 
another solid single man effort, but and here comes just, another chance. Oh, bounces off his stick. Yeah, this I mean, I would I, seven to four. I would say the New Jersey offense played uh, well enough to get the win. I'd say they certainly faltered on defense, though. Yeah. Multiple defensive breakdowns leading to just easy goals. I mean, you take away a couple of those goals there, like the one by Ace Both, and you've got a much closer game. Probably something like 5-4 in favor of Washington. But you never know what would have happened had, uh, had that game been closer when New Jersey made that rally there in the second. New Jersey definitely tightened up there at the end, but still not enough to win. Not quite, unfortunately. And so that's that for uh, a while anyway. We got one more game in about 50 minutes, which should feature Colorado and Detroit. And what will, I believe, actually be a battle for third place. Especially now with, with New Jersey losing. I believe that'll be a battle for third place. If I remember correctly, Detroit is, is one goal. Or one goal, one point ahead of Colorado. So Detroit drops a game tonight to Colorado. Colorado moves into third. Colorado and Detroit are looking like pretty good teams as of late. That's for sure, yeah. After somewhat shaky starts, especially for Detroit, they've uh, certainly been able to turn it around, which is good to see. they got some good players on both those squads. We'll have to keep watching what, what Hef means for, uh, for Boston. I think they can make a little rally here, try and get fight for that fourth spot. I'd expect them to put up a fight, that's for sure. No reason to quit now. Uh, four wins out, but still 19 games left in the season, so you yeah, never know. You never know. So that'll be it for this cast, and we will catch up with most of you later on tonight around 9 o'clock, which should be over on twitch.tv slash uh, If you don't find it there, if, uh, come on over and check here on my stream, twitch.tv slash dialorex, and I will catch up with all of you later. This is Dial signing off for Taves and Goose, who's rejoined us here. Have a good night, guys.